welcome children i am back again with your chapter 3 how many squares part 2 now let's recapitulate the topics that we have done in part 1 so we have done areas of squares and rectangles by counting squares area of irregular shapes area of triangles by counting squares area of squares and rectangles using formulae complete the shapes and compare the areas and the assignments now let's move forward what is this children yes this is a children's park now if you want to fence this park so what is to be find out yes length of boundary let's take another example this is a picture of cartoon we want to frame this picture and here is an another example that is a table and if we want to fix a lace on the table cover then what is to be find out length of boundary so children length of boundary is also called as perimeter so in this topic we are going to discuss perimeter of square and rectangle by sum of all sides perimeter of regular shapes perimeter of different shapes perimeter of square and rectangle using formulae comparison of area and perimeter perimeter of irregular shapes tile pattern and assignments to do so children let's move forward so first we should know what is perimeter so the sum of all the sides of a figure or shape is called perimeter or we can say the length of boundary of a figure or shape is called perimeter let's find out the perimeter of a square which has many squares each square has side 1 cm so the side of this whole square is 3 cm so the perimeter is equal to 3 cm 3 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm that becomes 12 cm now take an example of a rectangle which has many squares in it and each square has the side 1 cm so the length of this rectangle is 5 cm and the breadth of this rectangle is 3 cm so the perimeter of this rectangle is 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm that is sum of all the sides that becomes 16 cm now we are going to find out the perimeter of regular shapes first take a square which does not have many squares in it but its side is 4 cm so 
the side of this square is given 4 cm. Now we can find out the perimeter. Perimeter equal to 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm that is sum of all the sides that becomes 16 cm. Now let's take a rectangle having length 6 cm, breadth 3 cm, Now we can find out the perimeter that is 6 cm, 6 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm that becomes 18 cm. Now take another topic perimeter of different shapes. Let's take a triangle which has sides 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. So we can find out the perimeter by the sum of all the sides 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 5 cm that becomes 12 cm. Let's take a trapezium which has sides as 2 cm, 6 cm, another 2 cm and 5 cm. Now we can find out the perimeter by the sum of all the sides. So the perimeter is equal to 2 cm plus 6 cm plus 2 cm plus 5 cm that becomes 15 cm. Now move forward to the next topic perimeter of square and rectangle by formulae. Find the perimeter of square whose side is 10 cm. It means when the side of square is given then how can we find out the perimeter? So the side of this square is given 10 cm. Now perimeter of square is equal to side plus side plus side plus side means sum of all the sides. Then we can write it as perimeter of square equal to 4 times side. So 4 times side means 10 cm that becomes 40 cm. Now find the perimeter of rectangle whose length is 12 cm and breadth is 6 cm. So this is a rectangle. Its length is 12 cm and breadth is given 6 cm. Now to find out the perimeter we have to add all the sides. So we can also write it as perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. Or we can say perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 times length plus breadth. So this is the formula to find out the perimeter of rectangle. Now put the values 2 times 2 times 12 cm plus 6 cm that becomes 
2 multiply by 18 centimeter it becomes 36 centimeter so the perimeter of rectangle is equal to 36 centimeter so children perimeter of square is equal to 4 times side and perimeter of rectangle is 2 times length plus breadth so these are the formulae to find out the perimeter of square and perimeter of rectangle so children if you want to find out the perimeter of square or rectangle then you should memorize these formulas to find out the parameters of square and rectangle let's take another topic comparison of area and perimeter so here 12 squares are joined together to make a rectangle each square is of side 1 cm so this is a figure A its length is 12 cm because 12 squares are joined together so its area is 12 square cm and perimeter is 12 cm plus 12 cm plus 1 cm plus 1 cm that becomes 26 cm now these 12 squares are arranged in a different way so each square is of side 1 cm and the length of this rectangle is 4 cm and the breadth is 3 cm now calculate the area of this rectangle yes area of this rectangle is 12 square centimeter now perimeter perimeter is sum of all the sides so 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm that becomes 14 cm now these 12 squares can be arranged in a different manner so in this each square is having a side 1 cm now the length of this rectangle is 6 cm and breadth is 2 cm so area of this rectangle is 12 square cm and perimeter is sum of all the sides that means 6 cm plus 6 cm plus 2 cm plus 2 cm that becomes 16 cm so we can say figures A, B and C have equal areas they have equal areas 12 square centimeter but perimeter of each of the figure is different because squares are arranged in a different way so areas are equal but perimeters are not equal now children let's find out the perimeter of irregular shapes so this is a picture of a foot of a tiger now if we want to find out the perimeter of the foot then what shall we do perimeter of irregular shapes can be measured with the help of thread or row so if we find out the perimeter of this shape so we have to put a rope or a thread over this boundary and we can easily calculate the perimeter of this 
foot in this way we can find out the perimeter of irregular shapes next is tile pattern so here is a pattern 1 and pattern 2 see children these two patterns are floor patterns they are looking beautiful now these lines show that this is a tile when these tiles join together to form a floor pattern like this in this pattern also this is a tile and they join together so many tiles join together to make this floor pattern so blue mark shows design of a tile now assignments for you children assignment 1 this is a picture of your book and here five squares are arranged in different ways you have to find out the areas of these shapes and also their perimeter so calculate area and perimeter of each shape and compare them now next assignment is here is a chess board and you have to find out the perimeter and area of the given chess board next is assignment 3 This is a floor pattern made by Ziri using her yellow tiles. Children, you have to circle a tile in the given pattern and also find out how many tiles has Ziri used in this floor pattern. That's all for this chapter. Children, I have completed this chapter. with this video i hope you also enjoyed it thank you